we got a box in the mail. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Smash the like button. That helps the algorithm oh so much. Let's go ahead and get into this video, bro, because I'm excited to open this box up and look at all these cleats. Oh yeah, let's get it. Okay, before we get started, I wanna give you guys a little bit of back history about the Air Jordan 10 itself. As we know, Michael Jordan was retired during that time. And we all remember that famous photo of Scottie Pippen rocking the Chicago 10s with his foot out towards the camera. The Air Jordan 10 was kind of a shoe that would help represent Michael Jordan's career at the time. A lot of his accolades were posted at the bottom of the shoe on the different lines with each color that you saw on there. This one has a cleat bottom, so I'm excited to see what this one has on it. If it has any reminiscence of the past or if it's just strictly football cleat made for performance. So let's go ahead and open this box up and get started with this review. Starting with the top of the box, you have a gold Jumpman branded here on the top with the all black finish, all black around the box, a gold 23 hit here on the side, and then a gold Jumpman here on the back. Looking at the tag of the shoe, it says Air Jordan 10, TD, mid, and then this is the white game royal in steel gray colorway. So let's go ahead and open these things up and see what they are talking about. You got your all over print gold 23 on the paper and the cleat. Ah, the cleat. So I no longer have any of the Jordan Retro tins to match these colorways from these cleats right here, but I will be popping up images as we go when I compare the different colorways so you guys can see the difference between the tennis shoe and the cleat version. Starting with the first cleat here, I'm gonna give you guys a more thorough look at this one and then we'll talk about coloring on each and every other one from here. Starting with the outsole on the cleat right here, you have your classic Air Jordan cleat that they have been using for the past four or five years now. So I'm not really surprised by that. Let's take it up to the midsole. You have another Lunar Lawn midsole here that's gonna give you more cushion and more support with the cleat and then the leather on the upper this is something that I really want to talk about because I've noticed over the years when they've done these retros they tend to do a nicer job on the leathers compared to the actual tennis shoes that are released to the public and when I touch this leather right here it feels very very thick it feels pretty nice and I feel like this shoe will definitely mold to the foot very very well once you break it in on the upper you have your classic all-white look when it comes to the Jordan 10 this cleat in particular resembles the old Royal Air Jordan 10 cleat that released back in 2012 when that shoe came out honestly it was my school color so I thought I was gonna like it but I just wasn't really a fan of the mesh on the top for the upper so I didn't end up picking up that colorway being that these are my high school colors oh yeah these would have definitely been on the field taking it to the sock liner you have your classic Air Jordan 10 sock liner with the checkered print here with the black and blue going to the tongue as well you have an all royal blue tongue and then you have your gray hits here kind of like the steel colorway on those and then you have your blue laces coming with that with a blue tab and a blue jump man here on the back inside of the tongue they kept it classic as well with the Jordan 10 branding right here honestly overall if I were to put this next to the old Royal Air Jordan 10 I feel like they would resemble them a lot and the only different thing that I would probably say between the two is probably the leather quality and then obviously the cleat bottom taking it to our next one let's see what we got right here Ooh, oh this is different Oh, this is real different. So looking at the box tag, this one says cool gray, light steel gray. Now, when I get to the steel gray cleat, you'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. But basically the steel gray cleat has the black with the gray here. And these are just all gray with the cool gray and the steel gray. And honestly, this has never been a colorway that has released to the public as a tennis shoe version. So I don't have a specific shoe to compare it to because if you look at a cool gray tin that did release to the public, it was all gray and then it had like weird coloring and different things like that with the cement prints. And I've seen other gray tins to release but nothing specifically like this if I'm wrong please let me know down below in the comment section but for some reason at the top of my head I don't remember seeing a colorway specifically like this one giving a quick look at this cleat right here you have a gray and white bottom you have a white midsole a white upper and then your gray hits with the jump man here on the back gray lacing and different things like that I think this is very similar to your classic Air Jordan 10 color blocking and honestly I love it going to our next colorway right here let's see what we got oh with the white bottoms? Oh yeah. 
so this cleat right here would obviously be dope with the all black uniforms with the white bottom flashing bruh these things are fire oh my gosh now if you guys remember back in 2005 they had different jordan 10 colorways dropping and you remember that all black black cat whatever colorway you would like to call it these are in a great resemblance of that cleat obviously they didn't do the black bottom i think this is very very similar to the all black or the black cat 10 that released back in 2005 again leather quality is solid on these i'm not mad at these things at all it's got your classic checkerboard print on the inside you got your all black hits here with the laces and the tongue and everything bro honestly i'll rock with these we got two more left if you guys are enjoying this video don't forget to hit that like button man smash the subscribe button if you haven't already let's go ahead and crack this thing open see what we got now this is the one right here the steel tin. Oh yeah, I'm ready to talk about these joints right here, boy. I remember back in the day when I first started collecting, these came out in 2005, and that was around the same time when I was just getting into fully collecting my sneakers. And this was a shoe that I seen a lot of people had, this in the red version and different things like that. And I knew like this is a very iconic colorway, an iconic model, I had to have these in my collection. So I remember the day when I first got my first pair of steel tins, I was very happy about that. I didn't like the creasing when it comes to actually wearing the shoe, but I'm talking about comfy, oh yeah, the Jordan Jordan 10 is very comfortable. Like I was saying earlier, back in 1994-95 season, the original Air Jordan 10 was actually made a little bit different, and I had a pair of those as well. If you recall, I had a line stitched across here with a different piece of leather capped off on the toe, and then when they came with the retros, they started to eliminate that part of the shoe, and they became just fully one piece wrapping around the foot, and that was just a small difference between the original and then the 2005 retro, and then the 2013 retro being like the 2005, and now in 2020, we have the cleat version of that i wish i would have had all four for this video because i would have been dope to line them all back up again unfortunately i got rid of the other pairs but i'm telling you right now these things are dope and these oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's all i can say <laughs> yeah all right on to the final cleat right here let's open these things up bro this red oh yeah oh yeah okay so off of first glance the one thing that really stands out to me that i see is different is i remember the sock liner and i think it was red and gray or red and white whatever you want to call it and this is red and black so it makes it a little bit darker around the ankle part of the foot but besides that everything resembles the original red stealth well i guess 2005 red stealth 10 that came out and uh, it's got the red jump man on the back and then again you have your red and white outsole here white lunar lawn and then all white upper with the all red laces the red elastic bands the red tongue bro honestly these things are fire as you have seen from the trends of i keep saying these are fire because i could just imagine myself rocking these cleats on the field bro oh my gosh if these would have came out back in the time when i was in high school or in college oh yeah I would have for sure been rocking all of these that match my school colors for sure. So that's gonna give you a full look at all the different colorways that are releasing. Which one is your favorite colorway? What were your high school or your college colorways if you are a ball player or were a ball player or if you just went to that school and wanna have that colorway? What were your colors? Honestly, I could have worn all these cleats throughout my careers because I went to a school that was blue, I went to a school that was red, and then obviously the grays, the blacks, and the whites, those are very neutral, so you can rock those with any different college. And that's what Jordan Brand usually does when they come out with a new cleat and a new model each year. As we know, the cleat of the year for 2020 football season is going to be the Air Jordan 10 cleat, so we will see a lot of PE cleats and stuff like that for the players out there on the field. And they give the people a chance like us to be able to rock them on the field as well when they're out playing at high school or just, you know, soft ball leagues i've seen a bunch of people wear cleats in all different type of situations but honestly i know for a fact if this cleat would have came out when i was in high school or college it would have definitely been on my feet because i know the air jordan 10 alone is so comfortable i could only imagine what it would be like to be rocking the cleat on the field these things mold to the foot very well as you can see the toe is very rounded it looks like it's pretty comfortable it flexes pretty well so i can definitely see myself rocking these so again drop a comment down below what is your favorite colorway of these five colors if i could only go with one I would probably go with the steels just because it's universal and I know that I could probably wear them anywhere I go So that only makes sense for me, but then again, it's like the red joints the blue joints the gray the black I I just had to buy them all and make the video, bro, because honestly, I couldn't resist. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, this cleat is $125. So if you want to get those, they're still available at Nike.com. That's where I order all my pairs from. With that being said, my name is DJ. I'm signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. You already know what's up. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow in the next video. I got to go. <laughs> Peace.